Finally, at the end of this unit, so Lewis adds his acids and bases. These definitions for acids and bases are the most general definitions of acids and bases that I know of. They're more general than the Bronsted-Lowry definitions, which were in terms of protons or H+. A Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor and must have the ability to accept electrons. A Lewis base is an electron pair donor and must have a lone pair of electrons to donate. And this, by the way, is a, a really, this is like something you use a lot, typically in organic chemistry. You'll also be very interested in Ka and Kb values, actually specifically Ka values um, in organic chemistry as well. So this will be useful in your next classes should you have to take organic chemistry. And it's a good prelude even if you don't, since this is sort of an organic chemistry topic. Our uh, reaction, and let's say this, all bases that we know already are still bases. All acids that we know already are still acids. We just have even more possibilities now, and it's a broader way of looking at it. So our Kb reaction for ammonia is going to be ammonia plus H2O goes to ammonia, uh, goes to, well, hydroxide plus ammonium, and that's got a plus on it. And what we can do now, since this is the Lewis acid base theory, we're going to have to draw Lewis structures for everything. If we draw the Lewis structure for ammonia, and this is a good time to review them if you don't remember, um, happy to give you materials if you want, just let me know. So here's the Lewis structure for ammonia. Here's the Lewis structure for water. And let's see. So we know that ammonia is a base, so it's going to be an electron pair donor. It only has one electron pair on nitrogen, which is going to make that happen. So how this is how this happens. We move those two electrons over to hydrogen. Then those two electrons that are shared between oxygen and hydrogen will now join the oxygen. And our two products are going to be hydroxide, in which we have three pairs of electrons. Oh, yeah, that's uh, just a minus there. And that third pair of electrons was the electrons between oxygen and hydrogen. And we now have a bond forming uh, between nitrogen and uh, hydrogen. We can put brackets around it in a plus. We can also do something called formal charge. And formal charge is going to put the minus on the oxygen and the plus on the nitrogen. Again, formal charges from Gen Chem 1. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Formal charge comes up a lot in organic chemistry as well. So now we're recasting the same reaction in turn of, terms of electron pair acceptors and electron pair donors. Some additional examples, um, BF3, so something that I didn't typically think about as an acid before this. So... Uh, we can now take a pair of electrons over there, form a bond, and then you've got one molecule as a product, and we have an electron donor, which is our base. This is going to be LB for Lewis base, Lewis acid right there, and this is called a Lewis acid uh, base adduct because the two things stuck together instead of transferring to two products as well. Cations is Lewis acids. So we've already talked a little bit about iron being an acid. This is um, this is going to be a Lewis acid here. We've got, uh, oh, there's our pair of electrons. Um, yes, and the uh, cobalt three ion, excuse me, is accepting a pair of electrons. So that makes it the Lewis acid as well. And uh, 
This gets even crazy. So, oh, and this is a picture of this making the Lewis acid base adduct in which we have six different ammonia molecules bonding with one cobalt three plus. If you look back, you'll see that's the same thing that was happening when we were talking about Fe three plus plus our six H2Os to make Fe H2O six three plus, which we were doing in um, a Ka reaction for earlier and had a Ka value for. You'll see a couple of questions on the homework about this. Um, we just want to introduce Lewis acid base theory. Almost everything else we do will be in terms of Bronsted Lowry theory. Uh, although you could do it at all in terms of Lewis theory as well. Um, I think it's more straightforward to use Bronsted Lowry and to think in terms of the H plus because conjugate pairs are always related by one different H plus. It's not quite as easy to think of it in terms of Lewis acid and base in that way.